Okay, we're live. I'm just going to make sure that everything's good on the streaming side. Give me one second. Gotta make sure it's working for you guys, cause it's not working for me right now. Be a little lag, but we'll see. No, I think we're good. Maybe. Are we good? All right, we're good. So today I just wanna show you guys how you're able to do cold email and uh, generate yourself some clients, especially if you're just starting out. I think this is a good technique. Uh, this is the technique that I started with and it has been giving me some fruitful results. Uh, I've landed over, I don't know, probably 80% of my clients have been from cold email. So um, what I used to, I, I was cold emailing uh, about copywriting, so I was a copywriter. Uh, now I'm gonna be doing cold emailing for my video editing services. So uh, I wanna show you guys what I do, and hopefully this is gonna be something that um, could be actionable for you guys to, to start cold emailing, especially if you're just starting out, whether that's you know you're, you're another copywriter as well, you do video editing, um, you do social media content, um, you know, graphic design, all these types of services, um, especially if you're on Fiverr or on Upwork. Uh, I think cold emailing is gonna be helpful for you, especially because you already have a portfolio, portfolio. And if you don't have a portfolio, I can show you how to get one very, very quickly. Um, so what I'm doing, like I said, is video editing. So what I use is called snove.io um, and the link will be in the description as well. Um, but this is the account that I use or the program that I use to be able to email out uh, multiple, multiple emails. So as you can see here, I've already started, um, but basically I have a video productions. These are all companies or people from companies that do video production. Um, I've already got one reply from 14 emails sent. And let me see. And then I'm starting to do, I'm starting to reach out to digital agencies, specifically ones that, that um, do social media management. So, or marketing. So what I do is I go on a list of uh, like a directory list. So what I use is clutch.co. And this is basically a list of all video production companies. So top video production companies. And as you can see, there's 18,000 of them, over 18,000. So potentially that's 18,000 leads. Now they're all not gonna be uh, great leads, but as you can see, I've already ha I already have 14 from this list and one has already replied to me. Uh, this reply, uh, you could see, 
this reply came after three emails. So I sent her, I sent her three emails. So this is the first one, the second one, and the third one. And you can see the second one, she opened it twice. This one, she opened it twice. This one, she opened it three times and clicked on this link once. Um, and then replied to me. Uh, now it says they don't have any projects right now, but could be in the future. And we'll just, uh, what the, uh, that is. I did not, I just realized right now that she asked for my rates. I did not provide her my rates. Um, I'm gonna go to reply back after this, after this live stream. But, um, actually I do it right now. No, I'll do it after. Okay. So what I do is I go to these websites like clutch.co. There's also UpCity. Uh, UpCity. Uh, you could also go on. Let's see. Uh. I know there's another one. Hold on. There is, let's see. One more. Oh, crunch. Crunch base. Uh, reputed firms. That's another one. Angels list. I think that's what's called angel. <laughs> uh, let's see this. Good firms. Co. This is a good one. Basically, any any website that has B two B reviews and research platform that holds a lot of uh, businesses. So, like BBB is also good. And I'm gonna show you how to set this up with um, the Chamber of Commerce websites. So if you're not if you're not familiar with the Chamber of Commerce or what that is, um, it's basically uh, let's see, it's basically a hub, a business hub for small local businesses uh, that want to do like you know advertising, networking, and they help them improve all that local business stuff. Um, so it's very small business, very local type of feel. So if you have, um, if you wanna go into that, uh, then Chamber of Commerce would be good. And I'm gonna show you how to set that up. But first, let me show you how easy and quick this can be. This, this literally takes me five minutes uh, to find a lead and then reach out to them because it's so, everything's very seamless. Um, but let's go ahead back. So what I do first, I'm going to go into the video production company. Uh, the last one I reached out to was Signature Video Group. And so I'm going to scroll down. So I literally scroll down the list and go through each one. So as you see here, Signature Video Group. The next one I'm going to do is uh, Scalawag Productions. So I'm going to visit their website. And then uh, first thing I look for is their about page because I want to see who I am reaching out to. 
Uh, so, so far it's very good website, very good um, presentation of their website. So I like that so far. So Mark, he's a creative director and founder, director of photography, motion, direct, motion designer, associate producer, creative producer, and director. Um, so what I look for is people in directing position, either the creative director, uh, the director of video, um, people that you know have that hiring power and work in the department that I'm, that I want to work for. Um, so I do video editing. So video editors, they, they, res, they uh, report to the creative directors. <clears throat> they also report to like producers, but since um, it looks like they only have two producers, uh, I'm not sure if both of them are responsible for their own video editors. Um, so that's why I'm going to go to Mark. Uh, so I already have the person. This Going to the website just gives me the person that I want to reach out to. Once I have that person, I go into their LinkedIn. Usually they have it linked on their website. Uh, if they don't, I just go on LinkedIn and search up their, their, uh, their name, their company name. Uh, so I go into their websites, I mean their employee, and then you can see right here is Mark. So, um, Mark, and this looks like the guy on here. So I just make sure that Scalawag Productions is first experience, otherwise it would give me something else. And it looks like he's part of other entities as well, so that's pretty good. So to me, this is a pretty valid lead. So when I find the lead, I go ahead and go into the Snow extension a snow VO extension and when you're when you get snow VO, uh, it's completely free by the way uh, when you get snow VO, you can also get to download extensions that get that also find their emails for you and this is what makes it a lot a lot easier to find so what I just what I do is I just click on this LinkedIn finder Chrome extension pulls up the person and the company name and then I just save it to the company that I want or the list that I want I want it to go into this one, right? Yeah. So I want it to go into video production company one. Go ahead and save that. And then once it's saved, you can go to the list and see uh, if it got their email address, which it did. When it's green, that means it's verified. That means it's a valid email, which is good. And then when you click on them, you can already see that it's tagged as contacted and it's already sent out. So hi, Mark. It's me, professional video editor. I've been doing this for quite some time because of my understanding of video, uh, which I want to help you out. And there you go. And that's it. That's literally all that I do. And then once I'm done with them, I go ahead and exit this out and then I go and find a social media person. So I'll go ahead and visit their website. Um, and then I'll go ahead and search up leadership. So right away, this tells me it's a pretty big company. Which is not bad. Let me see how many employees they have. They have 530 employees. So for me, this is a big company. Um, you're welcome. You guys are welcome to reach out to big companies like this. Not. I'm not saying that you won't get back. That they won't get back to you. Uh, but it's going to be very. Not very likely because they are a big company and. Um, you know they have. It's, it's it takes a long process for them because there's so many people involved. But if you are looking for big companies, what I usually do, if it's, if, cause I'm not, I'm probably not gonna reach out to these four. These four are probably gonna be the busiest and they get reached out to the most. So what I'll do is I'll go into their employees list. I go to filters, scroll down and I title, I look for director. And then I show results. And then this is market sales director, director of brand operations, 
market sales director market sales director so i'm probably not going to reach out to these market sales directors just because there's a lot of them and i'm not sure which one has that hiring power you know uh director of paid advertising digital content so this is probably a good one because they deal with digital content so definitely keep erica flynn in my tab director of information services building revenue while building relationships director of information technology so i'm going to take my chance at erica flynn They've been working there for nine years. They just got into the director position, so this is good. Digital marketing strategy, okay. Seven months, nine months, three years. Yeah, they really ranked up pretty quickly. So this is definitely a good person to reach out to. I'm gonna go ahead and Click on this, and then I'm gonna put this into my digital agency list because these are digital marketers doing social media. And click save, and go to list. Let's see if it gets a valid. It does get a valid email. And then for these people, I send the same email except um, at the last second I put "love to help out" in your social media department because. Um, Video editors are mostly needed in their social media department. So, and that's it. That's literally all that I do. And I could do this. Uh, that's just, that's already two, two leads that I found. And um, obviously if I wasn't explaining this, I probably found those two leads in two minutes. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the setup of how you guys can reach out to and find uh, emails like this. So what you should do first is definitely go to snove.io and sign up for this. This is completely free. So uh, this is, uh, you get 150 credits, so meaning um, that you're able to search 150 emails, uh, verify 150 emails, um, and everything. It says right there, one ver one email verification is half a credit, and then one prospect cost is a credit. Uh, and it resets every month. So you get about 150 per month. Uh, you get you get 100 email re recipients in your um, campaigns per month. So you could only have 100 in your list or in your campaign per month which is good to start out with because if you're just starting out 100 people per month that's that's quite a that's quite a good amount um plus you get a uh, mailbox warm up um this is like so if you're just starting out in your email if you're just starting out I would definitely not advise to create a new email just for this because when you create a new email it's very fishy when you send out a bunch of emails. Uh, Google deems it, or Google, whatever, you know, Google, Microsoft, Outlook, whatever service you use, they deem it as a potential spam. And when they do that, then your emails are gonna be sent to spam, um, and we don't want that. So email, mailbox warmup is basically, if you are gonna create a new email, make sure you warm it up. Uh, and you do that by signing up for newsletters, uh, sending out emails, and then getting responded back emails so people actually respond to you um, those are great ways to warm up your emails um, so right now I use my professional email uh, which is my Diego at Diego Spinoza .co, but I when I first began I used my personal Gmail account and it worked so people aren't gonna deem you unprofessional if you if you use a Gmail account especially if you're just starting out. So um, this is great to use if you have uh, a Gmail account. Um, and then once you sign up for that, you're gonna have to connect to your email address. So you're gonna sign up, it's gonna look like this, but obviously you're not gonna have any contacts. Um, and then you go into your, 
account to connect your email that you're going to be sending out to. You're going to go to email accounts. You're going to add an email address and just follow the steps on there that it tells you. And then once you're done, it should say, it should say this uh, with a green dot next to your name. Um, that means you've definitely, uh, you're good to go. Uh, this used in total, so Gmail allows 2,000 emails being sent per, per day, right? I think, yeah, per day. Uh, anything over that is going to uh, deem your account. It's going to suspend your account, so you definitely don't want to do that. Um, and then once you have your email set up, you're ready to set up campaigns. So we're going to go ahead and set up campaigns right now. So as you can see, I have three campaigns. This one was just a test one, this video production one. Um, but these two are running right now. There's so far 33 cents. Uh, open rate has been 86%. Click rate, uh, for 26%, and then reply rate, 7%. So these are pretty good numbers um, to start off, especially. So uh, anything, anything above, so for open rate, anything above 50% is pretty good. Uh, click rate, anything above 10% is good. Reply rate, uh, anything above 5% is pretty good. So even 1%, 1% is pretty good, depending on your list. Um, so then what we'll go ahead and do now is set up your campaign. So once you have that, um, I would first go to templates. templates there you go and then create an email template um, and then this folder I'm gonna do Chamber of Commerce because that's who we're gonna reach out to go to create and then COC which is Chamber of Commerce email number one and then subject line so um, I'm gonna go ahead and create an email here for you guys now I have emails already saved from the past that have gotten me some replies uh, for example this one uh, so basically, in your cold email, you don't want to be too long. You don't want it to be too long. Uh, I think long emails, long cold emails are not going to get you anywhere. Um, keeping it short, brief, and to the point, uh, that's probably going to be your best chance. So uh, with the other thing with email, your subject line is going to be very, very important. So make a subject line that's definitely... Um, relatable to them. So with this one, I reached out to digital agencies, digital marketing agencies. So I put in digital marketing and writing, uh, have a writing team. So do you provide om uh, omni-channel marketing? Need more experienced writers? A lot of these subject lines are as if I'm a potential client, right? Because uh, someone with a potential, someone that wants to hire a digital market agency, they would definitely ask if you have a writing team, or they would definitely ask if you provi provide a certain service. Um, so, this is going to definitely open their interest and click on open your email. Uh, the second most important part is your first line. Uh, the first line is basically your make it or break it. Uh, when now that they open the email <clears throat> now you have a chance for them to keep reading your email or if they think that your email is just spam uh, so what I do is I put you know their first name uh, to show that you know president personalization it's Diego Espinoza professional freelance writer specializing in digital marketing so right away I point out who I am because they have no idea who I am and this gives them a great uh, feel of who I am. And then after that, I write out my <clears throat> expertise. 
Um, so for five years, I've been helping digital agencies write copy for their clients in a diverse range of industries. And because, uh, so that shows off my, you know, my experience. And then this shows, the next line shows off why they should definitely hire me. Um, so, and because of my deep understanding in digital marketing, I know I could write in a way that speaks to both your prospects and clients more effectively. So this is why they should hire me. This is why I am reaching out to them and why they should definitely show interest in speaking to me. Love to help out if I can. Got time for a quick chat this week. So the last part is your call to action. Uh, make sure you don't make it too aggressive because, again, these people have no, they don't owe you anything. Um, so being able to ask for something um, in a, you know, polite, non-aggressive way is definitely the way to go. Um, because if def- if you're too aggressive, you could definitely feel that and they probably won't reach out to you. Uh, but if you're nice to them, they're probably going to be nice to you. They're either going to reply with no or uh, they're going to reply with some questions. Okay. So uh, what I want to do is since we're reaching out to people in the Chamber of Commerce, and I'm going to show you uh, some of them. I'm going to go to my local Chamber of Commerce. Uh, if you go back it's, and you go on Google, it's going to say business directory search. That's where you want to go. That's where all the businesses are. So you can see here it's listed by categories. So there's if there's a specific category that you want, then you can go ahead and create emails for that, which I strongly recommend doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out a category. I'm going to do finance and insurance. Actually, should, let's see. Let's see which one. Personal care, real estate. I think that's a good one. Yeah, let's go ahead and do real estate. So now that I have my topic, um, I'm going to do real estate because each email for different for a different one is going to be different. Uh, because it's more personalized it's definitely shown that um, you can it's showing the other person that you that this email is meant for them you know it's not just some random email sent to a thousand people it's actually meant for them Um, and that's what you want to show them you want to show them that it's not that this email wasn't sent to a thousand people and this email was actually sent to them and it meant for them Um, so let's go ahead and do let's see so for real estate, there's a lot of realtors on here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do real estate. Video. All right, let's go ahead and do your real estate video. Because why not? So say hi. Actually, what I like doing, I like to do this. I just like to do this because it gives me better, I write better, I don't know. It's just keeping me more organized, to be honest. Subject line, your real estate video. Let's go hi, first name.
Diego Espinoza. Professional video editor. Specializing in real estate. I'm going to say I saw your profile through. Let's see. Let's see what I want to say. you have videos that believe will get you more clients on social media, I'm happy to edit them for you so you can catch Attention. I've been creating videos for the past year. And because my deep understanding of it, I'm positive I can create. Love to help out if I can. Got a quick and that's basically it. I mean, <clears throat> this is definitely my um. first draft um, am I very happy about it I could probably make it do better but uh, for this purpose we're going to go ahead and do this for now um, so let me just reread it hi it's Diego professional video editor especially in real estate if you have videos that believe will get more clients on social media I'm happy to edit them for you so they can catch attention catch more attention been creating videos for the past year and because of my deep understanding of it i um positive i can create real estate videos for you that will generate results love to help out if i can got some time for a quick chat and then put my name and then my And then my link. My link is in this. Let's see. Oops. Copy link.
Okay. It's not the link I want. and then put the city that I, that I reside in. Okay. So this is pretty good. Actually, I'm actually going to put Lake Zurich. This is definitely a smaller town. Or smaller type feel. I don't need to put a big city. Because most... Uh, hopefully they know where Lake Zurich is. Or, or around there. Okay. So this is good. So then I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Create a new email. Oops. And I just do this just to get the font right and the format correctly because if I don't, then Snow will completely, like it, it's, it won't be the right format is what I'm saying. If you have videos that videos I believe will get you yeah that makes sense copy link I go to insert link And then send that. And then once I have that, I go ahead and copy this. And then paste it in there. Oops. Paste it in here. There we go. And then I get rid of this and we put in first name token. Dismiss that, dismiss that. <clears throat> and then save that. All right, and we're good. So now we'll go ahead and go back to campaigns click on new campaign and this is gonna be our real estate campaign let's click on this use a template and that's why I went in and created those templates first because it's gonna be a lot easier when you set this up Chamber of Commerce my real estate one and then you can go ahead and send a test email just to be sure save that so that way you can see like the format of it, see how it looks, and if it looks presentable, then I'd definitely uh, go for that. Just gonna wait for this email. Here it is. So, looks pretty good to me. Spacing is done correctly, and then go ahead and click on next. I'm gonna make a list. Call it 
COC for Chamber of Commerce, real estate. Create that. It's gonna say that this isn't empty. Of course, we know that we're gonna go ahead and add people later. Uh, so if prospects, so what Snowview does um, when it goes out and finds people, especially on LinkedIn, it search and finds as many emails as it can. Um, so it might send out to their personal emails, like their personal Gmail account. I just want it to be sent out to their professional email. Usually that's the first email that pops up. So that's why I click on first email. Uh, so I'm not going to send to unverified emails and unverifiable risky ones because uh, if you do send them out to, to these emails and they come back as spam or they come back as invalid emails, um, then it will, um, it will hurt your account. It will hurt your email account. So definitely stay away from these. So you can check that and it won't send it out. If a prospect has a missing variable, meaning like, for example, the variable that I used is first name. So if a prospect has a missing first name, uh, it will send it to a two checklist so you can check them. And then if you want to type out their email, their first names, then you can before you, before the email gets sent out to them, uh, or you could send out to the campaign anyway, but I like to make sure that their email, their na first name is in there. So click on next, click your email account. Uh, you want to enable link tracking, enable opening tracking, and then stop for those who reply. And then the schedule that I always use, I always send them Monday through Sunday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Because you never know when they are available. Uh, campaign duration, if you want it to start or end a certain time, you can. I don't. I usually leave that and end it when the last email is sent. Uh, go ahead and click on next. And then add the campaign name. We'll do real estate. Real estate. Do LZ. Because uh, that shows that they're going to be local. And then I'm going to click on start. And if, obviously, if you have other emails, you can always add them in. For example, you can always click on pause and then edit. And then when I create my other email, I just do a delay. Usually I do three days. So three days. And then I go ahead and create another email. And then I choose the email that I want to choose and save it. Uh, but we're not going to do that right now because we don't have another one. And then we're going to go ahead and click on resume campaign. All right. So let's go ahead and find realtors. So right now there's 37 in real estate moving and storage. So right now I just, I'm going to go after uh, not storage, but realtors. Um, so for example, this one. So the thing with Remax, um, they might have people like marketing people on their side that they might not, but this is shows Christine Lee. I'm going to go ahead and visit their website. Uh, Christine Lee, I've definitely seen her out and about in, uh, billboards around my, around here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on her LinkedIn cause that's where I like to grab emails from. Just because it already grabs their first name and I don't have to type it out manually. Make sure that her. Uh, you can also check out their social media, for example, on YouTube. For Because I'm checking out their YouTube just because I want to make sure. See, her last video was two weeks ago. And it looks like they're just pictures. So definitely a 
so animated video. Another animated video. So just mostly pictures, doesn't have a lot of videos. And then So since her email is already right here, uh, I'm not going to go on LinkedIn because LinkedIn will, oh, let's see, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, got to refresh this. Let's see that. Save that. Put a list. See what email it finds. Searching emails, probably not going to find her Gmail account usually they can find it right away so what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and edit this and then the email that I'm going to use is of course this email address and then put that in there and then click save and then go back you gotta verify it because it won't um, it won't send out the email unless it's verified go ahead and click verify email and then it takes a few seconds usually and there you go now it's green. If I refresh it, it's gonna say contacted. Uh, it's gonna say campaign completed because there's only one email in there. Uh, but there you go, that's pretty much it. And that's all you guys have to do is just go through this list or go through a list that you wish. Um, like I said, Chamber of Commerce is pretty good. Uh, another one is BNI. Um, Chamber of Commerce is, I think, only U.S. I'm not sure. But BNI is definitely international. If you guys haven't heard of BNI, it's basically um, groups of businesses that get together and just do networking. Uh, it's pretty good. I've been, I've been in some before. Um, but you can find one that's near you. Find the chapter. And these, these guys are international. Um, let's see, begin now. It's going to have you create an account. Um, but usually it's a list. I guess they changed it. Bumper share. Yeah, see, international. But if you search up like BNI, um, you can find some of the ones. So BNI Chicago, that's one. And when you go into this BNI Chicago, you go to click on chapters. Click on chapter directory. And then it'll give you a whole list. So these are all chapters. So these are all people that, um, these are all groups that people go to. And you can see like the area of it, the day they meet, uh, and what kind of meeting. So they meet online. So if you click on, no, what is it called? Shoulder Synergy. There's 12 members. You click on show members. And you can see the name of the person, what company they're with, uh, what kind of uh, specialty they have. So this, this person does resident, residential mortgages. Uh, this person does family law. This person is a financial advisor. Uh, this person does audio and video. So uh, video production. 
and you could just go through the list. So this email actually won't give you their email. It'll send an email on behalf of BNI to them. So you could definitely click on this. Uh, that they'll they'll get the email for them, um, and you can like mark it. But the thing is, you can't track it, or you can't really do much with it unless uh, you keep track of it, like in a spreadsheet or something. You could also see their pictures. But what you could do is go to, let's say, if you want to reach out to Chris, go to their profile. And just go to their website. And then once you're on their website, same process follows. Uh, see if they have a, like a LinkedIn. Um, you can go out about us. So who was it, Chris? Right? There it is. Snyder at uh, whatever business he's with. <clears throat> so that's definitely. Or if you don't want Chris, you know, but you like you want someone from his company then you can go to someone else um but yeah that's that's pretty much how you set that up um let's see we've been at this for 50 minutes so um again you guys can do this like that literally took me an hour to set this up uh especially if you're just starting out um it might take you an hour to set it up but once you have it set up uh, then all you have to do is just find people, find people on websites, find people on like directories like this, um, and you got you got leads for days, literally. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, you know, if you need any more assistance, or if you need like, if you have any questions like with this, definitely let me know. I'm gonna be creating more videos like this, like you know, what kind of emails to send out, how many emails to send out. Um, how long you should wait to send out emails, like how you can get more personalized with emails, how you can definitely amp up your open rate, um, how you can scale this on a larger scale, especially if you have a bigger business. Uh, I've done this for uh, a bigger business and we scaled this. We were sending out, I don't know, a thousand emails a day or so. Um, like that's how many emails, maybe more. We were sending out a ton, like a ton of emails. Um, and that one specific month, I remember we had 80 appointments, uh, from cold emailing. So, uh, this definitely does work and, um, you, you know, you just have to go in it and do what you need to do. Um, and it's fairly easy. Like it doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't take a lot of effort. Uh, you could do this for one hour in the morning and you already have, let's say 60 leads already reached out to, and that's more than you had. You know, all you got to think about it is like, if you're just starting out, compare it to how many leads you reached out to last month to this month. So, um, like, it's really beneficial for you to to get this going. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Definitely subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Um, I've been in business for quite some time now. I think over five years and uh, i love doing this stuff i love doing like a lot of processes and systems and seeing how you can streamline and generate clients uh so uh definitely subscribe leave a like that'll definitely help me out a lot and <clears throat> any questions you guys have drop them down in the comments i'm definitely going to read them um but i hope you like it thank you guys for listening in today and have a good one make sure you email at least one person today that's that's definitely my my homework for you guys definitely email at least one person uh today so thank you guys again i'll see you guys next time